Landscapes and seascapes usually exist as mosaics of interconnected elements. Exchange, movement and translocation are universal processes in natural mosaics. These form connections between the elements. Mosaics have many edges. In natural systems these form interfaces between habitats and between ecosystems. Some of the planet's longest ecological interfaces and wildlife habitats are in the coastal strip, such as sandy beaches and estuaries. These interfaces are hotspots for the processing of organic matter in the biosphere. Adjacent systems exchange organisms, matter and nutrients across the boundaries. These exchanges functionally couple populations, communities, food webs and whole ecosystems in space and time. The connections are critical for conservation and the resilience of systems. Movements of organisms form key connections, as does feeding of consumers in different habitats. Systems are never static. Ecological change is a universal property, accelerated under a changing climate. Death is ubiquitous, nature red in tooth and claw. More animals die from disease, malnutrition, exposure and other causes than are actually killed by predators. Ecosystems often contain unexpectedly large numbers of dead bodies, called necromass. Evolution has shaped specialised consumers of animal carcasses, called carrion. For example, vultures. But nearly all predators are also scavengers. Carrion is nutritious and neither risky nor difficult to hunt down and kill. Many linkages in food webs involve carrion and scavengers. There is a fresh emerging focus on energetic importance of carrion in food web ecology. Carrion is particularly important in ecosystems that rely on imports of organic carbon and energy from the outside. Sandy beaches and the deep sea are prime examples of systems where food webs are reliant on imports from neighbouring, more productive systems. Beaches are very efficient importers of marine energy. They have no physical barriers on the ocean side. Material moves easily on shore through the surf. They also have strong and persistent physical forces transporting material on shore. Waves, tides and storms deposit marine wreck and carrion. Beaches form one of the longest interface regions in the biosphere. They make up 75% of the world's coastline. They support many consumers from the land, maritime vertebrates that feed across the June Beach boundary. Feeding by scavengers and other consumers at the beach dune interface functionally couples terrestrial and marine food webs. Our recent work 
shows that animal consumers on beaches form an amazingly abundant and spectacular suite of scavengers.